Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be making a start on my review of Parker Pine Investigates by Agatha Christie. So Parker Pine is one of her lesser known fictional detectives, he certainly isn't as well known as Miss Marple or Hercule Poirot. Uh, nevertheless, I did enjoy this book. I'm going to read you the blurb and then we're going to go through and look at some of my tabs and I will give it a rating at the end. Parker Pine Investigates Mrs. Packington felt alone, helpless and utterly forlorn. But her life changed when she stumbled upon an advertisement in the Times which read, Are you happy? If not, consult Mr. Parker Pine. Equally adept at putting together the pieces of a marriage or the fragments of a murder mystery, Mr. Parker Pine was possibly the world's most unconventional private eye, and certainly its most charming. Twelve intriguing cases for an unusual Agatha Christie. And yet, as you can kind of tell from the blurb, the gimmick here is that each of these short stories is connected by somebody's read this advertisement and come in and ask for Parker Pine's help. So we get this little bit. And you are not happy, said Parker Pine in a cheerful, matter-of-fact voice. Very few people are. You would really be surprised if you knew how few people are happy. And I thought this was an interesting quote. Uh, he says, You have, my dear Claude, performed a meritorious action. You have, given un you have given an unhappy woman what every woman needs, a romance. A woman tears a passion to pieces and gets no good from it, but a romance can be laid up in lavender and looked at all through the long years to come. There's a bit where some people get locked in a room that's being slowly filled with water and they're tied to chairs. And it takes them like, uh, yeah, a quarter of an hour and he manages to get out of his ropes and then they just kick the door in. And I was sitting there thinking, oh, that was a little bit easy. Um, and it turns out it was deliberate. This whole thing had been set up by Parker Pine and a certain familiar face, Ariadne Oliver. There's a jealous husband. He says, uh, my, my wife's clever. She likes pictures and the opera and concerts and naturally she gets bored with me. This other fellow, nasty long haired chap. He knows all about these things. Those nasty long haired chaps. And there's one where, so basically he gets this woman to pretend to be in love with this man. To make the man's wife jealous. And it backfires because the man ends up falling in love with this woman. And obviously she doesn't want him because she was just playing a part, you know. And he writes on the file, failure owing to natural causes. NB, they should have been foreseen. This bit, this bit made me laugh. Ah, the ejaculation was fraught with meaning. I think we've all had ejaculations that are fraught with meaning. Another interesting to say the least quote here. It is a fundamental axiom of married life that you must lie to a woman. She likes it. Yes, I'm sure she does. Parker Pine also lights a cigarette that burns down to his fingers and he drops it with an ejaculation of pain. And then immediately after someone goes to him, were you wool gathering? Which made me think of Charlie Heathcote here on BookTube. We have this characterization of this one lady here as well. She says, uh, well, Parker Pine says, were you fond of her? And she says, what do you mean fond? She paused, checked herself. She was useful to me. So yeah, over and all, I really enjoyed this book. I actually gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. I think it's a great little uh, Agatha Christie book. It probably gets overlooked a lot. I think uh, I do really enjoy Christie's short stories in general. I think she might even be better than better at short stories than longer form fiction. Um, I wasn't expecting to like this one anywhere near as much as I did as well. So that possibly contributed to the 5 out of the 5 rating. So overall, yeah, really enjoyed it. It was cool. So there we have it, that's what I made of Park and Pine Investigates. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this book. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.